So if you were eating this way your whole life, your gut would be like, no problem, give me some more kale, yeah. But if you were eating, you know, processed stuff, animal products, your gut's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Ow! What can your protocol do for long-term GERD, esophagus, and stomach issues? Well, so this one is, is a complex one because it makes the gut healthier. Okay, you're eating the right food, you're eating nutrients for cellular repair. So long-term, the result is the gut is healthier. But in the short term, sometimes it can make some symptoms worse because the thing about it is in order for you to do hypernourishment, you need to get all of that food into your gut. And so if you have gut issues, that can cause pain, distress, nausea, bloating, burping, farting, you know, constipation, diarrhea, because your gut's like, what? what are you doing? This is not what we usually do. This is not what I trained for, right? So if you were eating this way your whole life, your gut would be like, no problem. Give me some more kale. Yeah, right? It's just normal. It's strong. It's fit. It's ready. But if you were eating, you know, processed stuff, animal products, only cooked vegetables when you have them, your gut's like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Ow, no, no, what? Right? And so the good news is, and yes, so I hope you like my impersonations, but the good news is that um, in time, even an unhealthy, tired, out of shape gut will get with the program. But sometimes it hurts, right? So it's kind of like uh, I have a new trainer and she is um, she's awesome. She kicks my butt so, so bad. I can leave nothing behind. <laughs> we did legs today. I can't even stand up right now. I'm just in the chair. It's, it takes help, right? <laughs> but I love it. But after one of her workouts, it hurts. It hurts. But you know what? Like the next day I look down and I see like the muscles. I'm like, yeah, getting stronger, right? And it doesn't hurt like it did in the first week. So same thing with your gut. You're training it. So initially there can be a lot of distress. In fact, that's a lot of what we do in rapid recovery. The first like two weeks is mostly helping people with not only how they're gonna get all the food in, but also like gut issues. This one's constipated, this one is, is bloated, this one is, is diarrhea, this one is throwing up. <laughs> so if we can see you every day, we can help you. And we don't, we give people time to build up to it, but people don't always give themselves that time, listen. But we help people figure those things out until they get it right and they do something that their body can consistently do. So long-term, really good for your gut. Um, Short-term can be difficult. One of the things you can start with if you have GERD and stomach problems specifically is to take all the food for the day and break it up into like six or more servings. So exactly the same. So let's say you're gonna do it all in smoothies, just as an example. So you would take the big blender and instead of putting like two and a half of these cups, you would get, you would get like six cups and then you'd pour it into that. And then every two hours you just drink that small cup. And that way your stomach never gets too full. So that means you're less likely to put pressure on the esophageal sphincter, less likely to have reflux. So that also works by the way for bloating and for bowel issues. It's like you just give a little dose at a time. Here, you work on this. And then you can have two hours off to relax. And then here, okay, work on this again. And it tends to train the gut and tends to cause less distress. So there's the explanation and, uh, and some ideas of what to do.